Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today is Monday, February 27th, 2017. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The media war continues with President Trump. In a Saturday tweet, he announced he's skipping the White House Correspondents Association dinner, the first sitting president to do so in 30 years. The Trump administration came under fire Friday after refusing entry to an impromptu White House briefing to CNN, The New York Times, Politico, and other left-leaning outfits. Friday, Trump said at the Conservative Political Action Conference that media is not the problem, but rather the fake news media. We ourselves at Church Militant have been subjected to several inaccurate and dishonest profile pieces by big media outfits that keep getting the facts wrong. The First Catholic Monastery is opened in Tasmania, and it offers Orthodox teaching along with traditional liturgy. Calling itself a monastery in the Benedictine tradition dedicated to Our Lady of Cana, Notre Dame Prior was officially founded February 22nd, the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter, with an opening mass where Archbishop Julian Porteus of Hobart presided. Following the Benedictine rule of ora et labora, or pray and work, the monks will follow a strict rule of life that will involve the traditional Latin mass, praying the traditional liturgy of the hours, and work and study. A Rome hospital has hired two abortionists who will be killing the unborn just minutes away from St. Peter's Square. Reports over the weekend say Rome's San Camillo Hospital will start performing abortions up to 12 weeks in pregnancy. The Catholic Church is fighting back, claiming the law that permits abortions in Italy was not meant to encourage abortion, but to prevent it. Under current Italian law, doctors can refuse to perform abortions based on conscientious objection. The hospital plans to start abortions within the coming weeks. More than 1,500 pedophiles have been arrested in the one month since President Trump has taken office, a staggering number compared to only 400 arrested in all of 2016 under Obama. A couple examples. Only six days after taking office, 42 were arrested in a Tennessee human trafficking ring, and two days later, nearly 500 were arrested in a sting in California, where 28 exploited children were freed from captivity. But some are noticing the failure of the mainstream media's silence on any of this, preferring to focus criticism on Trump's immigration policies instead. Facebook is admitting it made a mistake by suspending the account of a traditional family page. On Thursday, the social media giant said it made an error by removing the page Activist Mommy when the author posted passages from the Bible on marriage. The author of the page, Elizabeth Johnston, an Ohio homeschool mother of 10, posted quotes from Leviticus, speaking about the detestable and abominable character of homosexual sin. Facebook told reporters, quote, Our team processes millions of reports each week, and we sometimes get things wrong. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about failure. And check out the download, where the panel discusses the L.A. wreck. Please share headlines with your friends. See us on Facebook and Twitter. And may God bless you.